afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Milwaukee Brewers and the Minnesota Twins. It's interleague baseball on the show. Jose Barrios gets the starting nod for the Twins. What do we need to know here, Danny? You know, one of the things that sticks out, Matt, he has one of the best breaking balls in the business. It's a big sweeper. It's almost a slurve, a hybrid between a curveball and a slider. His velocity has improved. He's in the mid to upper 90s. But Barrios' game revolves around that breaking ball. If he has his good one, it's going to be lights out. So now here is Colton Wong. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. First pitch, 1 o'clock. Here it comes. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Hit hard on the ground at first. Right to him. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Batting second. The third baseman. Travis Shaw. So bases are empty with one gun. And that brings up the left-handed hitter, Travis Shaw. Now here's the first offering. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. And a great day for baseball here. 81 degrees at first pitch. One out, nobody on. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off-speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. And another foul ball. The 0 2 once more. Shaw connects. This is into deep right field. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. A solo home run there for Travis Shaw. As the Brewers get on the board first, it's one to nothing. Love the homer in the top of the first inning. Give your pitcher a chance to kind of regroup and gather himself with an early lead. And here's Christian Yelich now. As he lines it hard to the right side but out of play. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will land untouched. Bases are empty, one man out. Another one sent foul. Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And he'll step on first himself for the out. That is clear. Next for Milwaukee, face. Keston Hiura. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Simmons has it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. But the Brewers are on the board first thanks to this solo home run. On to the bottom of the first. It's now 1-0 Milwaukee. Brandon Woodruff, the Mississippi native, will be on the mound in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? 
Well, with a guy like him, you're just looking for quality innings. Usually he'll give you six or seven, and he keeps the team in the ball game. And when you think about it, what else do you really want from your starter? He's capable of shutting a team down and dominating, but that's not what's expected of him all the time. That'll bring up Luis Arise. It lead things off here in the, the bottom half defense. of the first. Luis. Oh, yeah. oh, and won the count. And the pitch. Right side, but it's well foul. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. This is pulled into right. Should be no trouble for Bradley, and there's out number one. Batting second, the second baseman, Jorge Polanco. So one down, no one aboard, and that'll bring in Jorge Polanco to hit next. First delivery to him. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. Not in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 and 2. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high that fastball, a high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting Ooh. to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. And that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. The wind up and the 0 1. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Now here it comes. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up being nothing more than a long foul ball, and it'll hold the count at 0-2. Hit sharply on the ground. But the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Definitely tried to elevate the heater right there with two strikes, but caught way too much in the plate. Nice execution by the hitter. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat and he turns this one around high and deep to center field Kane going back and off the batter's eye for a home run an impressive shot to dead center field two run shot to straight away center and the twins move out on top two to one. This is exactly what you want your offense to do, to get your fans involved. Bottom of the first inning, let's get it started early with a homer. So that'll bring in Byron Buxton. Hit down the three. third baseline. Shaw fields it cleanly. And they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. Boy, that's what wheels can do for you, Dero. You that can see good. this right here on this replay. He just simply hey. outruns the white rabbit. He just hey. outruns the baseball. Yeah, it's beautiful to watch. You know why? Because this is the one tool you can't teach. You can take countless ground balls. You can hit till your hands bleed. But if you got no wheels, newsflash, you got no wheels. 
So here's Jake Cave to the plate as he lines it hard to the right side but out of play. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Hit out towards second. Taken in by Wong. Over to first and that retires the side. A two run score for the Twins, both coming on this two run home run. Second inning coming up. It's now two to one, Minnesota. Second inning set to go. And in to hit next, it'll be the left handed batter, Jackie Bradley Jr. First pitch on the way. High in the air down the right field line. Kepler's on his horse. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. That is good. The designated hitter, Daniel Vogelback. Next will be the designated hitter, Daniel Vogelback. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. One out, nobody on. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Kepler looks up. That one is out of here. This game is tied. A solo shot here to straightaway right field, and we are tied again. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. And into hit next is Lorenzo Cain. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Bases are empty, one man out. Slap hard the opposite way, and he will make the play. Two away now. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. At the plate, Narvaez. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. Kepler gets there for the catch, and that ends the inning. But the Brewers get a run, and it comes here on the long ball. We'll go to the bottom of the second, and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. So here is Miguel Sano, who's set to lead off the home half of the second. The first baseman, Miguel. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 1. Rounded weakly to the left. Shaw gloves it. Throws in time and that's out number one. Batting it. The catcher. Mitch. Garver. The next twin up, Mitch Garver. Now here's the first offering. Swing and a high fly ball out to left field. Yelich going back. And that's a home run into the top tank. A solo shot here to left. As they've taken the lead, it's now three to two. When you're facing an elite starter, you know runs are going to be at a premium. I don't know if this shakes the starter's confidence, but you know what it does? It certainly boosts the confidence of the guys in your lineup. 
In now is Andrelton Simmons. As he grounds one briskly to short. And that's the second out. Third baseman number All right, two. so let's turn to show track for a more in-depth look at that oh, one. Yeah. Good reaction, great range, and a nice backhanded stop, and the jump throw with a lot behind it all the way across the infield for the out. The numbers don't lie, and that was pretty spectacular. So now to the plate, Luis Arias. As he'll ground this one foul for the first strike. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now the 0 1. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Turned on, but it's wide of first and foul. Ground ball right side. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. Last chance coming up for the Brewers. It's now 3 2 Minnesota. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring Luis Urias to the plate. Luis Urias. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit high and deep out there to left center field. Looking up is the left fielder. Still going back. That one is out of here. This game is tied. So a solo shot here to left center field as it's now a three all ball game. We're watching an impressive power display today. With that one, these two teams have now hit a combined five homers in this game. Yeah, Matt, you know what, Gable? We got up this morning for this day game here. We were expecting a high-scoring game, but, boy, we haven't been disappointed. Yeah, you take the temperature of a lot of guys in the league. They definitely will tell you they see the ball better at, in the daytime than they do at night. Case in point today, ball was jumping off the bats of both lineups. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Swing and a liner. Ah, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough first out. Now one down with the bases empty, and that brings up the left-handed hitter, Travis Shaw. And that was a great swing he put on that changeup last time up to hit that home run. Just an absolutely textbook job of letting it travel, keeping his hands back before exploding on it. 0 oh and 1, here it comes. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Bases are empty here with two away. And up next, the sweet swing and left handed hitting outfielder Christian Yelich. And now the first pitch. Yanked on the ground down the line. But this is foul for the first strike. When the guy on the mound has complete command of his off speed, especially his changeup, sometimes as a hitter you just have to give up pull side to stay on it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. But a run scores in the inning, and that'll have to be good enough as this solo home run knots things up. Bottom of the third coming up. We're tied now with three apiece. Striding in is Jorge Polanco. Struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to. Big swing, and this one's launched to right field and deep. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. 
Up next for Here's Nelson Cruz now. He scored a run after stroking Nelson. a double in his first at bat. Cruz. Now here it comes. Swing and he launches this one to deep left field. Looking up is Yelich. And that ball is gone. Santa Maria, game over. A solo shot here to left. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. Wow, everybody wants to be a hero and hit one of those walk-off game-winning home runs. So you know right now when he's getting mobbed by his teammates, he has to feel awfully good. A one run finish four to three the final tally today Minnesota led this game from the third inning on and never wavered Jose Barrios takes home the win Brandon Woodruff couldn't work out of the third inning taking the loss so that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak Heidi Watney and our whole crew I'm Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more head to the show dot com. The final line score for this afternoon's